Zotes are the most common of all the Tyranids' many specially engineered slave races. Other slave races are little more than animals, mere blobs of protoplasm dedicated to cleaning and maintaining the hive fleets of which they are a part. Even the hulking spacecraft that compose the hive fleets are in a sense races, as they are grown and nurtured from a common, albeit much modified, biological stock. Spacecraft are mindless monstrosities, and the vast majority of other slave races are so dedicated to a single purpose, it would be inappropriate to think of them as creatures. Zotes, on the other hand, are completely independent living creatures, much like their masters. The xenobiologists of the Administratum believe that Zotes were created purely for combat. Tyranids, being creatures of space, suffer discomfort if they spend too long on a planet. Zotes, however, are stocky animals that feel quite at home in a wide variety of atmospheric and gravitational conditions. Like Tyranids, Zotes are centauroid. Their two rear sets of limbs are heavily built and muscular, providing the creature with its means of locomotion. The front limbs are manipulative organs of great strength and are used to wield a variety of weapons. Unlike Tyranids, Zotes will eat anything, although they largely subsist on a daily diet of three reconstituted protein-based woven biscuits called Zotibix. Zotes are common hive fleet inhabitants, often equaling the number of Tyranids themselves. Although they are a slave race, Zotes occupy important positions throughout the hive fleets and individual Zotes can gain great power. Rebellion from Tyranid control is not unknown, but is extremely rare. This is because the Tyranids secrete a special slave hormone which suppresses the Zotes' natural sense of independence. However, renegade Zotes do exist throughout the universe, where they have broken away from the hive fleets or have become lost during scouting or exploration missions. Without the inhibiting influence of the Tyranid slave hormone, Zotes are able to develop strong psychic powers. The path of independent Zote civilization is incredibly diverse, with small groups isolated from each other on widely scattered planets. Zotes of the Hive Fleets are never psychic. Independent Zotes are too diverse to include here in any detail. But a typical population might result in personalities having a 50% chance of psychic powers. Some populations are more psychic than others. Zotes fight in military units of four. Their unit's leaders are Zotes, although the higher ranks and more technical positions are likely to be filled by Tyranids. Zotes use standard Tyranid equipment. Zote units and leaders are usually equipped with the same weapons as the Tyranids themselves. Zotes form the warrior core of the Hive Fleets and found in the capacity of guards and police, as well as fighting warriors. They are extremely potent fighters and fit well into the Tyranid ethos of the fast, hard strike. <laughs>